Hey everybody, we are teaching Sculptor VR, and we're going to look at layers today and the basics on how they work. We're not going to cover everything with layers, but we're going to look at what they are and why are they useful. So I'm going to start with a new sculpt here, and I'm going to make a nice rolling landscape. New procedural rolling landscape. So as you can see, I've got a lovely rolling landscape here. And I want to add things to this landscape. For example, a tree growing right here. Now I could go in with my brush and start making a nice brown tree. Whoops. Let's grab a nice brown. And I could go in making a tree right now. If I do, this tree is part of the landscape. So if I move the landscape around, the tree comes with it. The tree cannot be separated at this point. Now I want to be able to move the tree, try it in different sizes. So here's where layers come in. Layers, it's going to be the third button, that blue diamond on the top of your main palette controller. So if we can see it here, this blue diamond, this is our layers control. Get a good look at layers control. Now, right now, I only have this one layer. And as you can see, as I point at it, the landscape highlights. This landscape layer, anything I do right now is part of this landscape. If I click on the plus, you can see how it makes a new layer. I now have a layer 1.1. It's also got the white outline. If I click on the one, I'm now on the layer with the rolling hills. If I click on 1.1, now I'm on this new layer. Now if I draw a tree, some roots, some branches coming off, maybe a little bit smaller so I can make some branches coming off. Now this tree is a separate component. You can see it highlights as a separate piece. And if I grab, right now, everything is stuck together. But the tree is a separate component. If we look at this layer control, the third little icon is an eyeball. Clicking that eyeball hides that tree, hides that layer. The key, that last symbol, the key is what keeps them locked together. I've clicked on the key to turn it black, which means the tree is no longer locked to the landscape. You can see it's a completely separate piece. I can change its size. I can change its location. Let's stretch it out a little bit, put it over here. It is now a separate component within this sculpture. Because it's a separate layer, I can deal with it as its own piece. It's still one file, one Sculptor VR creation, but the layers allow me to keep them separate components. I'm now going to click the next plus on the 1.1. So now I've got a 1.1.1. And on this layer, I'm going to go in with some bright green and do some leaves. Since I did these leaves on a separate layer, I can unlock and now move the leaves around separate from the trunk, separate from the ground. So here's how this works. You can see how they're stacked up. 1.1.1. The term a lot of computer uses is parent and child. The landscape is the parent to the tree trunk. The tree trunk is the parent to the leaves. So this acts like a family tree. This does mean if I go back to the landscape, I'm now on the rolling hills landscape, and I click the plus again. Now I've got a 1.2. Now I'm going to go in and paint, let's just for this example, we're going to paint a nice little metallic flower down here. 
So now in my layers, layer one is the landscape and it controls everything. If I move the landscape, everything goes with it. But beyond that, the 1.1 series is the tree. If I grab the trunk of the tree, the leaves come with me. But I've unlocked the tree from the ground. Now I'm going to go to the leaves. When I grab the leaves, they're also unlocked, so everything else stays in place. I'm only moving the leaves. Now I'm going to go to the flowers layer. The flowers have nothing to do with the tree, but the flowers are part of the landscape. I have not unlocked them, so if I try moving the flowers, the landscape comes with it. And the trees connected to the landscape, parent to child, so I'm going to need to make sure to remember to unlock the flowers. Now those flowers are their own separate piece, and I can make them bigger or smaller or move them around. Maybe I'll just take them and I'll do a whole bunch of flowers. All on this one flowers layer. You can have lots and lots and lots and lots of layers. So now that I've got the flowers, I could add a second flowers, 1.2.1, and now we'll put in some bright blue flowers. Flower, 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 flower. Now the blue flowers are their own layer, so I can unlock them and move them independently. They are the child of the red flowers. They are 2.1, uh, whereas the flowers are just 0 0.2. So the flowers, red flowers, control all of them. But the blue flowers are also unlocked as their own piece. So remember, parent to child. The parent still controls the child. So the trunk still controls the leaves but the leaves can be unlocked if you want to move them independently. And the eyeball lets you temporarily hide pieces one layer at a time just so you can test to make sure you know which piece is which. Now the final part of this basic lesson, now that I've got all these things happening here, let's put my leaves back here, grab my landscape, so I can move the whole thing around. Once you've got a lot of pieces happening, it can be difficult to keep track of which component is in which layer. Two things, actually three things will help. One is that eyeball. You can test what disappears when I click that eyeball. You can also use the highlights, so you can see as I move my pointer around, the different pieces light up to indicate which layer they're on. Finally, at the top of the layers panel is a little tiny eyedropper. So if I'm here working with my sculpture and I want to work with the trunk, but I don't remember which layer is the trunk, I can grab the eyedropper and now my controller has the little circles. Whatever I point at and trigger, it now puts me on that layer. I'm now on the tree trunk layer. Now I'm going to use the eyedropper on the blue flower, and now I'm on the blue flower layer. So as you work with your sculptures, we can use the layers to build up one sculpture out of many pieces. And we can control those pieces, which one do we want, and how do they look independently. In later lessons, we're going to take even more control of these layers and look at some more of these options. But this should give you enough to play with. I'm going to grab my red flower master layer and move all the flowers, shrink them down, and put them down in front of the tree. That was my flowers layer. 
I hope this is helpful and t gives you some idea of how these different controls work. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's anything more you want specific details on. We're doing this whole series. We're going to spend the next year doing these things. So definitely sign up and subscribe so you know when the new lessons come out. We do them live on Twitch with Shameless Mayhem. And they're all archived on YouTube.com slash Shameless Mayhem as well. So thanks for joining me. We're having fun with Sculptor VR, and we hope we show you guys some new tricks and controls to have fun yourself. Have fun, everybody, and we'll see you next time.